Welcome everyone, it's Savage Dragomar. It's now time for some more Raid Shadow Legends. Um We are going to continue on our journey through Zidum Tawa. Um Like, I'd put him in there, but his gear is Garbaggio. Maybe I'll put her in the front for the speed, the lead. Let's give it a go. That nuke from her is pretty dang good. Thing is, I could get, I could develop a cold heart. I just chose not to. We're going to be smacking these suckers up. These other Valerie's, they have Doom Screech. H how come it's suddenly champions I recognize? Like, suddenly. It's champions I recognize. Like, the second you get into rares, it's like, aha, I recognize that. Yeah. Rares. That's most of all I get in this game, other than, you know, the usual suspects. <laughs> the usual suspects. I'm trying to get this guy down because I know he's a problem. I know he specifically is a problem. So glad I didn't try to burn that. But yeah, the only... The thing about the secret rooms is you kind of have to be a little bit developed in the game to get past them. But once you get to a certain point, you can beat them. But it takes a while. The, the hard part with Doom Tower isn't just, do you pass Doom Tower? It's, at what rotation? How long does it take you? That's the real, the real challenge of Doom Tower, is how long will it take you before you go up there? See, that's the thing. I'm well on track to getting Akoth the Seared, etc. I'm on track for that. Delta, I'm not sure if he's on track for that. Like, I, I don't know if he's on track for that, but that's what I'm going for. Like, I would grind campaign if I wasn't so hyped about doing Doom Tower right now. The 
looking for a lash. Try to go for a stun. Yeah, we, we should have this. It's kind of like Nightmare Campaign. I still have a, I, I have a plan for Nightmare Campaign, by the way, for Bad L. So, we beat Floor 9 at... Oh, the Magma Dragon. He's back. Magic Affinity. Yeah, we could have a Sill here as well. Pretty decent comp, eh? Yep, pretty decent. These waves are not that bad yet, but we're still early in the tower. Yeah, we're still kind of early in the tower. So I think we are fine. Now... I do have to be careful, because from memory, putting fire on Magma Dragon is not advised. Because, uh, it does turn into a problem. Get that burning lash in there. Increase that buff duration with the Vizier.
And there we go. We beat the Lagra Dragon. And it goes full circle again. With some Kales. I mean, I could have included Kale, but I didn't. I mean, the funny part is, as we speak, I'm still developing more champions for this tower. The whole thing isn't over yet. Just because there's that many champions in this game. And it gets even more difficult to six star all of them. At least every time they get hit by that, they get burned. These rares. And yes, it's a lot of rares. Cause yeah, these uh, these kales are having a bad time with our team. We're going up pretty quick. Kind of surprised. Is anyone else surprised by this? I don't know. Because, yeah, I um, had to do some other stuff. Um, I do have to farm on the other account as well. I'll show you what, I, what progress I'm making on here for food. Um, my main goal is to try to make as many four stars as I can. Not 40s. Notice how I said four stars. And then turn some of those into 40s. And then make rank five food. Because in the end of the day, unfortunately, rank five doesn't really cut it. You got to make rank sixes. For all the champions that matter to you, and there's a, there can be a lot of them in this game, and that and therein lies one of the grindy challenges to this game is: can you get all the champions you want in the state that you want them when you need them most? And that therein lies the greatest challenge of this game. I'll take having some silver, man. I'll take it. 
I don't know what these like some of these champions. It's like you would put a rotting mage in here, didn't you? Like feed your rotting mage? Apparently not. One day I'll pull a skull crusher. One day. It'll take a long time, but one day. I mean, I pulled a sepulcher. That's pretty dang good. And a taragi. I mean, I pulled a lot of stuff I wanted. I just haven't have it all ranked sixth and stuff. I have a direct star for one thing, which in himself is a Doom Tower champion. If you don't believe me, you like take a look around. You'll see direct stars in here. He's great for spider as well. Just if you thought he wasn't good for more content. Oh boy. It's more of these death denied. Cretions, I think they're called daywalkers. I'm aiming for the skull crusher mainly to try to get him out of commission if I can. Which, that does not seem to be the case. So we'll just have to chip them away. Everyone in their counterattack state. And that should do it. That should do it. Let's keep going up. I want to make him proud with my progress on Doom Tower. I don't want to look like a moron. I want to show that I really was the one who made it to Sorath. I probably can do a much better run of Sorath now because um, I have Drexthar. Drexthar is a, like, make Sorath like almost convenient. That's how powerful he is versus Sorath. He takes the bite out of Sorath, which I would want right now because I want to see if I can take this all the way. I want to see if I can beat this Doom Tower normal at least once. Because that would be the day, wouldn't it? That would be the day when I beat Doom Tower Normal once. Because I've never beaten Doom Tower Normal once. I want to try to beat Doom Tower Normal once on any rotation before moving on to hard. That's my goal. Because I don't think I'm ready for Doom Tower hard if I can't beat normal. <sighs> so that's what 
And the only reason I'd even be motivated to go in Doom Tower hard is because I'd want to race, um... I'd want to race, um... Delta to Urost. Or Akoth. Akoth seems a lot more likely for me to get in the short term. Urost is a very long way away, even for me. Because Urost is strictly a late game, difficult to get champion. I'm just trying to be aggressive as I can because I feel like I can. I don't feel they're pressuring me too hard. So because they're not pressuring me that hard, I am just going to go ham. You know it. I know it. If the enemy's not pressuring me that bad, then I'm going to go ham. We should, if we obliterate this, get higher up. I think this, the logic behind the whole thing greatly resembles Nightmare Campaign. I think that that's what this is modeled after, a different version of Nightmare Campaign. Not that that's a bad thing. Look at all these giant purple crystals on the wall. Really weird. I'm going to get them all on fire. Got sign of swiftness. All right, let's keep going. So far, this hasn't even been as nearly as hard as it was before. I mean, I'm getting some provokes. I'm getting some good wave content stuff done. I mean, the waves only really start to get nasty like about halfway up the tower. That's that's when things start to get really nasty. Because the irony of the whole thing, or the thing is the fact of the matter is... This game lures you into a false sense of security sometimes and then strikes hard. 
even in Doom Tower, there's places where it's like, oh, that doesn't look that hard to do. And then later, that's when they spring it on you. As I am betting you, the boss is a lot harder than the waves. At least these waves. And then they make the waves really hard. The waves get to be really hard around, you know, when they reach like level, a certain level. Like around level 180, that's when these become really awful and it's almost impossible. Because it becomes like, what dungeon level are you at? And then like, the bottom is like, the bottom level dungeon of the regular dungeons. So that's what it becomes like. Man, you, you chose to purge the wrong fiend. And you tried to purge a tank. Congratulations. Now where's the parade? Oh wait. You have none. You just have an enraged Drexthar blood twin on your hands. And a Vergus. Who has been through Doom Tower multiple times, just never been to the end of it. Hopefully one day I'll actually get him to the end of this tower. One day. One day he will reach the end of this tower. I can't guarantee is that are those tree fellers? If those are tree fellers, I'm revolted. Are those they can't be tree fellers. They got some good accuracy to land that. Has to be said. Some things have to be said. And that's one of them. Should be able to get through this because this rotation's not anywhere near as bad as the other one. The other one had all sorts of unsavory things, even at this floor, and it got only worse from there because there was like the the dark fey and the, the first boss is Bommel of all things, not Magma Dragon, who can be easily crippled. No, Bommel. And then it only got worse from there. Magic affinity. If the other boss, you you had to have a good comp to defeat that. Like it was a bunch of shenanigans. Even the waves were more shenanigans. Like this is a relatively mild set of waves. Like we've got what Hyrias and Frozen Banshee. Like Frozen Banshee's only a real threat on Clan Boss. She's not really a great threat in a duel. That's the truth of it. And 
this will be my last key. I won't be able to... Well, I'll try to do the secret room, but we won't be able to do the boss until tomorrow. Because... Like the next boss, because... Um, we're not going to be able to because... Um, the keys got to refresh. That's another really thing that's annoying about not going all the way up the tower. Is that you literally it takes days to even climb back to where you were. Only to usually find something to stop you. Although that's getting to be less and less especially for this account. I'm thinking Sepulture, though, is going to be a big deal. I may even develop Sepulture. Just so that I can have a cleanser. Because there will come a time in here where you'll generally need and want a cleanser and sepulture will have to be there also even more important a nuker so i may end up having to do dark elhane first The accuracy on these things is terrible. What is their accuracy? I'm not complaining, but geez. Like, that's hilarious. You guys keep getting resisted because your accuracy on your move is trash. Because you would think, wouldn't you, that they would... That they would, um, I still think the reason my Drexthar isn't strong enough to really nuke is because his defense isn't high enough. Because all of his damage is based on defense, so if I just stack his defense really high in, like, immortal gear and stuff and get, like, different gear that's immortal and, and defense-based with even higher defense stats, then we should be good later for better damage. Because, yeah, all of his stuff is based on defense. I like the Lash as an opener because I like to see, like, manipulate Why do they have so many skull crushers? So annoying. This definitely has the nightmare campaign vibe. Definitely. So yeah, I'm probably going to be farming some stuff off stream, trying to see how close to 60 I can get my Vizier. Tomorrow we'll figure out if we can get there. 
Banner Lords faction only. Omega Oath. Let's try it anyway. I don't see this happening. I don't see this happening. Our banner lords are in too bad of a shape. Yeah. Our banner lords are in too bad of a shape to do that. But yeah, we will be trying to do that later.